So here we go. Um, so we look at this two column proof. And again, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do, again, the first thing for your homework, you might not even know what to get started, but we all know when setting up a two column proof, we can at least write down our basic problems with it, right? You got one? So the first thing we're going to write is our statements, and which the problem actually already has written for you, right? Statement, and then the reasons. All right. So in this problem, we just need to go and look at what are the, what are statements that we know because we need to prove that R S T U is a rectangle. All right. So our statement of the reason. The first thing, let's just write down what we know. S T U is a parallelogram, and that's obviously given. We also know that Rx is congruent to Tx, which is congruent to Sx, which is congruent to Ux. That's also given. OK? Everybody should have that written on their homework, because it really doesn't take any mental processes to write that down. That was off your homework on page 79. Right? So everybody should have that written down. Right? There's nothing else to go there. So now we need to say, all right. So we have a parallelogram. What do we need to prove that it's going to be a rectangle? We're going to spend more time with this, but we already did kind of talk about what are some of the specific characteristics that a rectangle has that a parallelogram, not that not all parallelograms have. Yes, Colin? Uh, four, right. four right angles. So if I can show that this parallelogram has four right angles, would it make sense that I could say that now I can, I can show it's a rectangle? Yes. yes. But we've got to be able to show it has four right angles. And last class, we had some students said, well, why don't you just put a 9 degree symbol in there, right? Well, that's like me telling you, hey, I only weigh 100 pounds. I don't weigh 100 pounds, right? But I, if I tell you I weigh 100 pounds, that's what I'm telling you, right? You don't know this is 90 degrees. So you just can't say, oh, it's 90 degrees. That's like me just saying, oh, I weigh 100 pounds, right? You've got to be able to measure it or use some type of theorems or something that you can use, right, Tyler, to be able to show that it's worth 90 degrees. Yes? What? Yeah, but we don't know it's a rectangle, though, yet. We're trying to prove it's a rectangle. That's our problem. That's our issue right now. So we need to think, all right, so maybe right angles might be a little difficult for us to be able to show with what we know. Because the only thing we're given is that sides are equal to each other. Does anybody else know what else is unique about a rectangle? Yeah, Colin again. Diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other, but parallelograms di bisect each other. Something else. Yes, the diagonals are equal in measurement. All right. Now, let's go and look at what we have here. We already, they say that Rx is congruent to Tx which is congruent to Sx, which is congruent to Ux, right? But remember, to show that, <coughs> excuse me, to show that the, um, that the diagonals are um, equal in measurement, we got we to gotta be able to show that they are, are, to be able to show that it's a rectangle, we got to show that the diagonals are equal in measurement. So the next thing I would say is Rx plus Tx is congruent to RT. Would you guys agree with that? The sum of these two lines equals the whole line. Yeah? And then I would also say that SX plus UX is congruent to uh, SU. And why do we know that? Well, that's just because of the addition property. You can just add them up. Now, Josh, I'm going to ask you very politely to put that down so you can write down this. So now, what do we know if these two add to this, and these two add to this, and these are all equal to each other, does it make sense then that these two are equal in measurement? Yeah. So now we can say that RT is congruent to SU. All right. Because all we're doing is we're substituting in these values. So I will just go ahead and say that a substitution, that because since these sides are equal, all equal, and they add up to different, different sides, but those sides are now going to be equal. And then now, yes? Um, 
stay on the test, I would have say, I would have said for the region, like addition property, since we added those two, would that be wrong? Enough? Yeah, that's right. But you're not adding these two. You're not adding these two sides. You're saying these two sides are equal in measurement. Yeah, but it's like for the reason of how you got it. But the reason you get this is for your addition property. The reason that these are equal to each other is because, yeah, all these sides are equal, and all these sides sum equal these two sides. So you're like substituting the sum of these two in for these two lengths, and that's why it equals that side. All right? And again, remember on like, um, you know, especially like on a multiple choice, you'll have options, you know, of different properties you look at that you can be able to use. Um, and then on the last thing is now I can say that RS TU is a rectangle. Well, why is it a rectangle? Well, because your diagonals are equal to each other, which is part of the definition of a rectangle. And there you go. There you go. Now I just did your proof for you. Aren't you just so nice? Done yes, right. Yes. Done like every.